Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thurman Solomon has got selections here for Thursday, March 21st. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in the NBA with Kelly Olenek under 7.5 rebounds at minus 140 on BetMGM. Never in doubt, Olenek has really never been a good rebounder, and he wasn't once again on Wednesday. Flew under. Look for the winner here on a Thursday. Before we get to the actual play, though, do not take care of some housekeeping. I want to remind everybody, first and foremost, to check out our website. The picks for experts. Use promo code PL9H CCD30 to get 30% off. If you can't remember the code, that's fine. It's also in the description. Plus, in the description, we have an offer from BetMGM. So if you are trying to join a new book and BetMGM's in your radar, you should join. When you do so, make sure to use the link and you'll get a nice sign of bonus. Plus, a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified and you'll never miss an episode. Now, for the actual play, going back to basketball, once again, get a look at a player prop. We're going to look at a matchup between the Kings once again, coincidentally, and the Wizards. And we're going to take Kings guard Keon Ellis. We're going to take him under three and a half rebounds at minus 105 on Benham GM. Time recording of 3.30 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings, we're going to take Ellis under three and a half rebounds in this game. First reason, Ellis all season long has been really bad at rebounding. He's had less than four rebounds in 25 of his last 27 games. He's also been really bad at rebounding on the road because he's had less than four rebounds in each of his last 15 road games. And if you want to look at his actual rebounding chances over the last couple games, he's had less than six rebounding chances in nine of his last 10 games. So the point is, Ellis has really been a bad rebounder all season long. Now, a big reason for that is because of the lack of proper playing time. Since he is a bench player, the reason why this line is a little bit high is because Ellis is promoted to the starting lineup, most likely, because I'm assuming Kevin Herter will be out for this game. However, Herter also missed the game on Wednesday, and you ended up seeing Ellis play 20 minutes and change in the starting lineup. He only had one rebound. So even with him starting, he did nothing on the boards, and I think because of that, this line does feel too high. Now, the Wizards have also been really bad lately. In fact, they're the worst team in the entire league, and half the roster is injured. So they have been getting blown out on a regular basis. The Wizards have lost each of their last four games by at least 16 points. So the point is, I do think that if the Kings are able to blow the game open, Ellis might be able to sit for a decent portion of the fourth quarter, which should cut into his playing time. So I do think game script could definitely benefit us in the spot. And to go through his actual career meetings against Washington, he's done nothing on the boards. He's had one rebound in each of his first two games against the Wizards in his career. So simply put, you're going to give me a guy that's had less than four rebounds in 25 of his last 27 games. A guy that's had less than four rebounds in each of his last 15 road games, and a guy that hasn't that has really not had many rebounding chances over the last couple of weeks. I get he's getting more minutes. I get he's going to be in the starting lineup, but once again, with his lack of, I'd say, intensity when it comes to rebounding, I do think three and a half is too high. I think he might finish with two or three, but a minus 105 is a good price, and I am going to go with the unders. Well, then once again, here for Thursday, March 21st, it's going to be on Keon Ellis under three and a half rebounds at minus 105 on Bet MGM. Bye, everyone.